It seems like these days, you know, the more powerful a tool or a technology gets, the harder it is to actually get a good grasp of it. Absolutely. But, yeah. More than just like clicking buttons. Yeah. You really need to understand how things work under the hood. Right, exactly. And that's that's the challenge, but it's also the opportunity because if you can understand that, you know, the engine, yeah. you can really leverage that power. So that's that's what we're doing today, taking a deep dive exactly into the Salesforce Agent Force Specialist exam. Now, right. I, I don't want people to think that we're just going to like, you know, drill down into how to pass a test. Oh, absolutely not. Our source materials, what somebody studying for this certification would be looking at practice questions. Right. Think of this as the very focused view of things you might actually see and have to deal with. Yeah. It's like a little microcosm yeah. of, you know, real world Salesforce stuff. But the the real point of this for our listeners is not you know hey go pass this test the mission here is to kind of like right. extract you know what's the real juice you know yeah what are the practical takeaways what are the insights that we can pull from these these questions right we want to understand why a solution is the correct one and yeah. how those concepts would translate into you know really making a difference for customer support or sales teams and i think you know, that's really the valuable part of this is, yeah. you know, it's one thing to pass a test. Right. But it's another thing to understand how these features actually work. Exactly. And can help you yeah. do your job better. For sure. So we're looking beyond just, you know, A, B, C or D. Right. To see, OK, how does how does this Salesforce feature really make a difference out there in the world? Yeah. And we'll go through a couple of these questions and kind of, you know, pick them apart and see what's really in there. Yeah. Each one is a, like a little nugget exactly. of, of good info. Yep. So are you ready to get started? I am. Let's do it. All right. So first scenario, imagine an administrator is trying to preview an agent force prompt template. Okay. They've created, but the preview button is grayed out. It's not working. What's probably the issue? Okay. So the correct answer here is option. A, related records for the prompt have not been selected. Interesting. And now you might think, well, okay, you know, that seems kind of... Minor. Minor. Why <laughs> is that so important? Why do you need to have those records even selected for a preview? Well, I yeah. think the key here is these AI features in Salesforce really rely on context to give you, you know, meaningful output. Uh -huh. So even when you're doing a preview, yeah. it needs to kind of understand, okay, what are we working with? Right. What's the data that we're dealing with? Right. So those related records are essentially, you know, sample data. Gotcha. So it needs that to like know what to do. Exactly. It's like you're giving instructions to this AI. Okay. And to really show you a good example of what it's going to look like. Yeah. It needs to have that data to work with. So it's like you're trying to preview the finished painting. Yeah. Without seeing like what the paint looks like or what the canvas is. Exactly. Or asking a chef to describe a dish mm. without knowing the ingredients. That's a great analogy. I like that. So it's mm. like the system needs the raw materials, right. those related records, to give you a sense of, you know, what that final preview, what that product is going to look like. Exactly. So the takeaway here for you listening is when you're setting up and testing your agent force prompts, you got to connect them to some specific data yep. for a really effective evaluation. Yeah, you need to give it something to work with. Right. It can't just, you know, conjure it out of thin air. Exactly. Okay. Let's move on to our second challenge. Okay. Universal Containers wants to streamline their customer support by having all their customer interactions summarized automatically. Okay. Which Salesforce feature would they want to look into for that? Sounds interesting. It is. Yeah. The answer is option B, Einstein case wrap up. Okay. Now, this sounds like a huge time saver. How does this case wrap-up thing actually summarize all that info? Well, Einstein case wrap-up basically uses AI to look at the conversation that happens mm -hmm. between the agent and the customer. Well and it identifies, okay, what are the key topics they talked about? Mm -hmm. What steps did they take to resolve the issue? Yeah. And what was the final outcome? Okay. And then it takes all that analysis and puts it into a nice little summary of the entire interaction. That's amazing. Think about how much time agents would save not having to write all that up themselves. Oh, for sure. So what other advantages do you think this would have for a support team? Well, I think a big one is consistent documentation. Yeah, that makes sense. Across all the cases. Yeah. And that's really valuable for, you know, if you want to do reporting or training new agents mm -hmm. or just get a really clear understanding yeah. of the yeah. kind of issues that customers are having. Right. It's all right there for you. Exactly. And you reduce the risk of human error. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, because you have the AI 
capturing those key details. Right, so you don't miss anything important. Exactly. So for you listening, you know, think about if you're managing a support team yeah. or you're part of one, this is like more efficient documentation. Absolutely. Better documentation, a more effective support process. For sure. Sounds like a good thing. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, let's get a little more technical. Right. An AI specialist is configuring an externally hosted LLM okay. to work with their Salesforce instance. And of course, security is it's huge. Yeah, a, a major concern. Absolutely. Which feature in the Einstein trust layer would they use to make sure the data is secure and they're following all the rules? Interesting. It is. The answer is option C dynamic grounding with secure data retrieval. That's a mouthful. It is a very specific term. Yeah. Can you break down what that actually means in practice? Sure. So what I think is really cool here is how Salesforce is thinking about the security part mm -hmm. when you're bringing in these external AI tools. Right, because it's not all just internal. Exactly. Like external force. Yeah. And so dynamic grounding basically makes sure that the LLM's responses yeah. are based on your company's data. Yeah. That's in Salesforce. Instead of letting the AI just use whatever it's been trained on, uh -huh. it's saying, hey, look at this specific information. Oh, so it's like giving it a very specific set of right. material to work on. Exactly. It's not just free ranging across the internet. Right. Pulling information from who knows where. Yeah. Okay. So secure data retrieval, that's the second part. Sure. What's that about? So that adds another layer of protection. Okay. Basically, it makes sure that when the LLM does need to access your Salesforce data. Right. To give a good response. Yeah. It's doing it through secure channels. Gotcha. And with the right permissions. So it's protecting that sensitive information okay, and helping you stay compliant with all the data privacy rules. So it's like a two-pronged approach. It's right. making sure the AI is using the right information. Yep. And then it's also making sure that it's accessing that information the right way. Exactly. So for you out there, when you're connecting these external AI models yes. to your Salesforce instance, using these features, dynamic grounding, secure data retrieval, mm -hmm. super important. Yeah, it really minimizes the risks. Right and helps you maintain that trust. Yeah, because if you don't trust it, right. they're not gonna wanna use it. Exactly. Okay, let's shift gears now. All right. Let's talk about sales. Okay. A sales manager wants to get a better view of deals that might be at risk, okay. and they want some AI help to get them back on track. Makes sense. What Einstein feature would be good for that? Mm. The answer is option C, Einstein opportunity scoring. Okay, I've heard of that. So how does Einstein actually figure out, you know, which opportunities are likely to close mm -hmm. and which ones are not? So opportunity scoring is kind of like a predictive yeah. analytics tool uh. specifically for sales. Okay. And it looks at all sorts of historical data mm -hmm. from your past deals. Okay. Things like how engaged was the prospect? Yeah. What stage is the deal at in your sales process? Right. And just general trends it's observed in similar opportunities so it's really looking at all that data and right. using it to make predictions exactly and then it gives each opportunity a score okay based on how likely it thinks it is to close so it's not just like a random guess no it's based on data patterns yeah it's saying okay based on what we've seen before yeah this is what we think is going to happen this one's looking good yeah. This one's maybe not so much. Exactly. And that's really helpful for sales managers because they can focus their attention right. on the deals that need the most help. So what kind of actionable info does this actually give a sales manager? Well, I, I think the big thing is it allows them to be proactive. Okay. So if they see a deal is at risk yeah. early on in the process, uh -huh. they can jump in and provide support. Right. Coach their reps, give them advice. Exactly. Like, how do we get this back on track? Yeah, maybe they need to re-engage with a customer. Yeah. Or could uh, address a specific concern that the AI identified. Mm -hmm. Or just allocate more resources to that opportunity. Right. It's about, you know, being smart with your time. Absolutely. And your resources. Yeah. So for you, if you're in a sales role. Yeah. This means you could get alerts about deals that are maybe going sideways. Right. And, you know, get some AI-powered recommendations mm. on what to do about it. Exactly. It's not pretty cool. It's all about improving that sales effectiveness. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's talk about Einstein Crow Pilot for a second. Okay. Our AI assistant. How does it decide what to do? Yeah, how does it figure out the best action to take? When a user is interacting with it. Yeah. The answer is option B. It ranks actions based on user intent using an LLM. 
Okay, so it's trying to understand what the user actually wants to do. Right. It's all about that intent. Okay. So can you talk a little bit more about how it uses that LLM to figure out intent? Yeah, so the LLM is really good at natural language processing. Okay. So when you're talking to Einstein Copilot, mm -hmm. you're probably using your own words. You're not using some special commands. It's not like a robot. Right, exactly. Yeah. And the LLM can analyze that natural language mm -hmm. to figure out, okay, what is the goal here? Okay, so it's more sophisticated than just, you know, matching keywords. Oh, for sure. It's like actually understanding what you mean. Exactly. And then it like prioritizes the possible actions. Right. Why is that ranking so important? Well, I think it makes the whole experience a lot more user friendly. Okay. You know, instead of having to scroll through a giant list of possibilities, right. the system is saying, okay, based on what you told me, I think these are the actions you're most likely to want to take. Gotcha. So it's putting the most relevant options right at your fingertips. Like it can anticipate what you need. Exactly. That's pretty cool. So it's not just, you know, understanding what you said. Right. It's actually taking that extra step. Yeah. And saying, okay, how can I be most helpful? Exactly. I like it. All right, let's imagine a customer service agent who needs help drafting responses to customers. Okay. And they want to use the company's official knowledge base. Yeah, that's a great resource. It is. Which Salesforce tool would they use for that? Mm. The answer is option B, Einstein Copilot with knowledge base grounding. Okay, we talked about grounding before. We did. How does that work with the yeah. knowledge base? Yeah, so with knowledge base grounding, okay. the AI is connected directly to your company's knowledge articles. All right. So when the agent asks for help with a response, mm. the AI isn't just you know using whatever general knowledge it has. Right. It's actually going into those articles okay. and using that information specifically. So it's giving responses that are aligned with exactly. the company's yeah. official information. Right, it's not just making things up. Yeah, it's not going rogue. Right. So what are the benefits of that for the agent? Well, for one, it's a huge time saver. Okay. They don't have to go searching through all those articles themselves. Mm -hmm. Plus, it ensures that the information they're giving to customers is accurate and consistent. All right, up to date. Exactly. And that leads to a better customer experience overall. Customers like that. They do. Okay, let's talk about how universal containers can get an edge on their competition. All right, I'm all ears. They want to keep an eye on what their competitors are doing. Okay. And they want to know when they're being mentioned in sales calls. Interesting. So how do they do that? The answer is option A, enable Einstein conversation insights and configure competitor tracking. So they're having Einstein listen to the sales calls. In a secure and compliant way. Of course. Yes. Okay. So yeah, Einstein conversation insights can analyze those recorded calls uh -huh. and use AI to pick out those key themes. All right. And one of the things it can do is track competitor mentions. So it can flag every time a competitor's name comes up. Exactly. Down. So they can see, you know, how often are competitors being mentioned? Yeah. What are people saying about them? Right. What are the strengths and weaknesses that are being highlighted? Yeah. That's like having a, you know, always on market okay. research tool Absolutely. built into your CRM. It's like a direct line into what your customers are thinking All right. about I competition. Think. Yeah. That's powerful stuff. So how could a company use that information strategically? Well, I think the biggest thing is it helps them understand the competitive landscape. Okay. You know, are they focusing on the right things? Mm -hmm. Do they need to adjust their messaging? Right. Maybe their pricing isn't competitive. Yeah. Or maybe they're doing something really well. Right. That they need to emphasize more. They could even use that information yeah. to like, you know, design future products and services. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. It's all about staying ahead of the curve. All right, one more scenario. Okay. Let's say a sales team wants to use AI to help them close more deals. Love it. And they want a structured plan of action. Okay, like a step-by-step -step guide. Yeah, like a roadmap to success. I'm in. Which Einstein feature would they use for that? The answer is option. A create close plan. So it's like a virtual playbook. Yeah, exactly. Right. Cool. So how does this work in practice? So the create close plan feature uses AI okay. to create a personalized action plan mm -hmm. for each sales rep. Okay. That's working on a deal. Gotcha. And it looks at things like the details of the opportunity, mm -hmm. past successful deals. So it's learning from experience. Exactly. Okay. And then it suggests a series of steps uh -huh. that the rep can take to move the deal forward. So is it like really specific advice or is it more high level? It can get pretty specific. Okay. You know, it might say things like, 
schedule a follow-up meeting with this person or send them this specific piece of content right or here are the steps you need to take to negotiate the contract wow so it's really like hand holding them yeah it's like having a coach right there in your crm that's amazing and it helps keep the sales reps organized and on track right especially yeah. in those final stages of the sales process yeah because that's when things can get really oh, complicated yeah there are a lot of moving parts so this can really help for sure make sure that nothing falls through the cracks exactly Okay, we've talked a lot about all the cool things that AI can do in Salesforce. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. But how does Salesforce actually make sure that the recommendations right. are accurate? Yeah, you don't want the AI just making stuff up? Definitely not. Okay. The answer is option C. Okay. It compares the responses to past successful case resolutions. So it's checking its work. Yeah, it's basically saying, okay, we've seen this before. Right. Here's how we solved it. Exactly. And I think that's really important for building trust in AI, mm. especially in customer service. Yeah. Because you want to be confident that the advice you're giving is sound. Right. You don't want to steer people wrong. Exactly. So by looking at those past successful outcomes, yeah. you're validating the AI's recommendations. It's like saying, okay, this approach has worked before. So it's likely to work again. So it's learning from real world experience. Absolutely. Okay, the last one. All right, bring it on. Service agent, lots of incoming support requests. Okay, I've been there. They need to categorize these tickets automatically and get them routed to the right people. Makes sense. Without having to do it all manually. Right, got to automate that. Exactly. What feature would they use? Hmm. The answer is option. Einstein case classification. Okay, so how does that work? So case classification analyzes the incoming tickets, mm -hmm. looks at things like the subject line, the description, any other relevant data. Okay. And it learns from past tickets uh -huh. how they were categorized, who they were routed to. So it's building up this knowledge base yeah. of how to handle different types of cases. Exactly. And then it uses that to predict. Right. Okay, this new ticket that just came in, yep. this is probably this category, um, and it should go to this team. It's like having a super experienced support manager yeah. who's seen it all before and knows exactly where to send things. Yeah, so what are the benefits of automating this? Well, it makes things so much faster. Okay. Customers don't have to wait as long to get help, uh -huh. and it reduces the chance of mistakes. Right. You know, sending a ticket to the wrong team can be really frustrating for everyone. Definitely. So by getting the tickets to the right people right away, Yeah. You're improving efficiency and making customers happier. So there you have it. That was quite a journey. It was a little whirlwind tour yeah. of the Salesforce Agent Force Specialist exam. But hopefully more than just the exam, right? Yeah. We got to see how these AI features can really make a difference. Exactly. And, you know, I think what we've seen here is a really powerful set of tools. Absolutely. That can help both customer service and sales professionals do their jobs better. Yeah, it's all about using AI to enhance their skills and knowledge. Right. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. It has. Until next time. See ya. Bye.